you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Oh, we may not say it, but we know in our hearts that you are doing a marvelous thing, Lord God. Mm. God, that we will all be astounded. We will all be amazed, awed. But what you're going to do after all these prayers that we're doing, Lord God. Yes. Truly, you said we have not seen what you are going to do. We have not even Amen. conceived the work that is before us. And so, Father, I thank you. I thank you for your faithfulness, Lord God, that truly you said you have begun a good work in Israel, will be finishing it. As you have begun a good work in this 21 days of fasting and prayer for Israel, Lord God, you are true to your word that you listen the cry of your children. So, Father, more than that, may you just give us the heartbeat of the Father. Holy Spirit, would you just... Lord God, uh, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, just would you just um, whisper to us what's going on in the heavenly so we may just say, thy kingdom come, Father God, thy will be done on earth as it is yes, in heaven. Amen. That's, oh, Father, may we just have a foretaste of heaven right now as we pray, yes. as we listen, Lord God, because mm -hmm. our ears are attentive to you. Oh, hallelujah. We are excited to hear from you. We are excited to partner with you for bringing your presence into Israel the beloved of the Lord. So Father, we thank you. Keep our heartbeats open to hear from your heartbeat. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Welcome, amen. Gina. Welcome, Gina. Those of you, yeah, we'll just, we'll just continue and then uh, everybody just kind of jump in. Let's, let's, let's come to worship. Amen. Let us sing, let the song rise for Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Amen. Um, yeah. Let's just take a minute uh, to just take a look at, um, uh, is there anything that you, you, you know, I need one or two or three, uh, you know, just, just what, what did you catch from, from the teaching of, uh, and understanding the irrevocable calling of Israel? And the end, uh, the end of the age movement, intercession movement for Israel. I mean, what'd you get? I mean, one or two words, just, I mean, he said a lot, but it was so powerful. And also, I just want to say, uh, Kit, Kit, Ray, Kit Reyes, you were messaging something about the economic, uh, uh, about the conference that you, um, you joined earlier. Um, it happened around... Um... Before the Sabbath, last Friday, we were at the King's Court and we are attending a conference that was geared towards the preparation for the Goshens. They have several Singaporeans there who were discussing about the upcoming digitalization of the currencies. Uh -huh. So they're actually in preparation. Um, I think they're working with, um, with Pastor King and... Uh, some of the staff there already informed me that they have four sites already in preparation just in case there would be something happening within the nation. There's a Goshen to run to. So it was just a few pastors who actually went there. But um, I mean, it was... A, it... We lost you. You're muted, Kit. They were related to the church um, that uh, the King's Court are, I mean, related to. The second one was um, I gave several letters to the government concerning um, what's happening with Israel. Yeah. I gave emphasis on the letter concerning what our uh, President Keson did before, right? Mm -hmm. uh, wherein they let the, the Jews come into the Philippines with their free, uh, free access when mm -hmm. they had problems there. Mm -hmm. um, I had, I mean, I was, the Lord gave me a vision to remind them of uh -huh. what happened before. So yeah. I sent all these letters. Uh, it actually happened last January. And I've already sent uh, letters to the president, the first lady, and um, mm -hmm. some, some in the Congress and two Vice President Sara. I've mm. been communicating with them as the Lord's leading with me. They're not responding, yes. But what's happening is after a week of sending the letter, 
um, there's a response in the media. Meaning I to see. say, the, uh, the information that I gave, um, they were What's able to follow the letter. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. okay. I know they're just uh, getting, I mean, taking the information and they're just doing it. But mm-hmm. I'm not after any recognition or whatnot. Um, what I'm after is the course that we're trying to go through. Mm-hmm. And one of them has something to do with helping out the Israelites in the last days. And mm-hmm. I had this prior today, prior to mm-hmm. the uh, troubles that they're having right now. So the Lord gave me a vision that this would be happening um, mm-hmm. after, I mean, this coming new year, which is the month uh-huh. of Nisan. So prior to that, I've given that information. But unfortunately, since because they have this uh, busy schedule and the um, our president is jet setting, they were not able to see it, I guess. They were not able to reply. Mm-hmm. Um, there was uh, a... Yes, go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. just I'm, maybe... I'm, no, no, I'm no, 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 no problem. Too much of your time. No, no, no. I just need that just, maybe, No, do that in prayer. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah. say. Um, yeah. Make a point of that in prayer and let's be yeah. conscious of that. And thank you so mm-hmm. much for uh, doing that initiative as well. Thank you. All right, uh, we can probably begin. Yeah, I just, uh, some of you, you might have something to say about the uh, the topic that we, because tonight we're going to do the part two. And uh, it's, you know, it, there's a lot, but uh, even just listening to it, you know, once or twice, um, we're listen, going to watch the part two. And uh, maybe just for a quick overview what's the update response christian church the philippines we will take a look at that later maria luisa uh so uh i think two things i'd like to remind us especially especially romans 11 28 29 i mean concerning the gospel they are enemies for your sake i mean talking to uh, uh the gentile christian in those days But concerning the election, so this is the emphasis that we have as we pray for Israel, concerning the election, they are beloved, referring to Israel, concerning the election of Israel, they are beloved for the sake of the fathers, you know, the fathers of the faith. For this is where we really zero in, verse 29, for the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. And even as you know, we we really focus on that uh, with regards to Israel. But I also want to call our attention for ourselves, being intercessors, our calling as intercessors, as uh, watchmen on the wall, uh, one who stand in the gap is also irrevocable. And um, uh, more than that, I'd like for us to be encouraged that uh, standing in the gap is uh, taking on the ministry that. Uh, that Jesus took for himself in heaven, the only ministry that he took to him with him in heaven as he's seated on the right hand side of God is uh, as an intercessor. He intercedes for us, forever interceding for us. And so even as we stand for Israel this next 20, well, we're now on day seven. So uh, we continue to to remember that we're praying with Jesus, that Jesus is praying with us, interceding with us more than ever. And uh, there is so much power in that. And so um, some of us are experiencing physical attack and, um, and, and, you know, and you will probably experience other things. And, uh, and uh, that's just, I just want you to remember, and I know you know, that this is just part of uh, spiritual warfare. And so whatever we do in prayer and as we pray, as we launch our prayers, as we launch our proclamation and declaration in the heavens, and as we continue to worship and pray for um, Israel, for its purposes, for why God has called us for such a time as this, is, is really... Uh, a lot of power is being released in the spirit realm. Uh, like I think I said, I, I mentioned last night, I heard that there's about now 10 million more people all over the world. All languages uh, are, are all connected. And so this is massive. This is historic. 
this has never happened before. And so for such a time as this, this is so critical. At the same time, this is so on time, in step, so appointed by God. So um, I just want for us to, uh, before we begin uh, the preaching, uh, part two preaching of uh, David Slyker, I just want for us to remember that we are, uh, we are uh, standing on the scripture of Isaiah 62, 1 to 11. And let's just rehearse that right now for science sake. I will not hold my peace. And this is our posture. We will not hold our peace. But God is also posturing himself. He's saying, I will not hold my peace. So, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest. This is God talking to us until her righteousness goes forth as brightness. So let us take, as we pray, and as we look at the situation right now happening in, in Israel, let us take a look that God is not resting. God is not holding his peace for Jerusalem's sake. If we think we're praying and we're incessant and relentless in releasing prayer towards and for on and behalf of Israel, uh, let us also understand and remember that even so, for science sake, God promised he will not hold his peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, he will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness. So there is the prospect of brightness coming into Israel and Israel being the brightness of God. And his glory will be seen upon you. The glory of God will be seen upon Israel. And this is this is our faith. This is our hope. This is what we believe. And as we pray, we take that faith and we take the authority and the, uh, uh, the delegated uh, empowerment that God has given us that our prayers are making, making big dent in the king in, in the kingdom of the enemy and, and it's pushing back. Uh, what 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 a timely time what a timely thing for us to be praying 21 days when when something uh and at the same time something is happening to to israel the, the bombarding of uh, the rockets and so on and so forth endangering their lives but at the same time we are standing in the gap and releasing uh these prayers so verse 2 says the gentiles shall see your righteousness all of, 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 of the Muslim area, all of Palestine, all of those uh, releasing those rockets in Lebanon, they will see the righteousness of, of God over Jerusalem and over Israel and all kings, your glory. You shall be called Hepzibah. Hepzibah is so powerful. God is saying, Jerusalem, Israel, you are my delight. I delight in you. I cherish you. I love you. And that is so powerful being spoken over Israel, over uh, Jerusalem, over the government of Israel, over its military and your land, Beulah. For the Lord delights in you and your land shall be married. I mean, think about that. When you are married to God, I mean, God is proclaiming that Israel is married to him and therefore he will take care of Israel. He will take care. I mean, firsthand, even if our praying are being released right there, God is in charge. He is taking, going to take care of Israel. I mean, then, now, and tomorrow. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom <laughs> rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. So here we are, verse six. I have set watchmen on your walls. We are set. We are called to do this. And there's so much anointing, so much power, so much grace, so much uh, of heaven upon us. And even the anointing as an intercessor, even the anointing of Jesus as an intercessor is upon us. We are set as watchmen on the walls, O Jerusalem, they shall never hold their peace. We are not holding our peace. Most specifically, millions of us in these next 21 days uh, has set ourselves to posture ourselves, not to hold our peace day or night, night and day, because we will mention to the Lord, uh, you, you who mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and uh, give no, him no rest till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth 
Amen. So the Lord has proclaimed to the ends of the world, say to the daughter of Zion, surely your salvation is coming and his work before him. Amen. This is where we stand. This is our faith. This is our calling. This is our appointment. We are set apart for such a time to pray and pray without ceasing relentlessly in the name of Jesus. Come on. So let us uh, listen. Jeremy, is it David Slyker first, or is it the uh, Mike Bigel? Uh, David Slyker. No, okay. Mike okay. Bigel was on day six, but I'll okay. see if there's day seven. Okay, no, no, don't, don't do that. He, he hasn't have the doesn't have a day seven yet. Okay. okay, let's listen to part two of and the end of the AIDS intercession movement for Israel. What is that? What is that about? And how is that going to affect everything that we're doing? And how is that going to affect even the uh, irrevocable calling of Israel? Amen. 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 Isn't that wonderful, right? Amen. Whew. I mean, it, 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 I don't know about you, but it, it, it gives us great Our, hope. <laughs> great hope. Amazing. That's the only reason, yeah. So we see what's going on. With, see, what I see there is that if, you, if we're going to be bearers of the glory of God, there's so much uh, uh, refining that needs to be done. And this is what's happening to Israel. And so even for us individually and corporately as a body of Christ, I really believe that uh, uh, so much of the refining, some of the things that God is doing in our lives and allowing to happen in our lives is for the purpose that we may become a vessel of honor that will be able to carry his glory and uh, his majesty. I mean, this is so powerful. Anyway, so much to process in there, but uh, um, we will, I think uh, we, we can send you, we will send you the link. And so you can re-listen to it because there's so much to glean, so much to, and, and I'm hoping that we're understanding a little bit more, more than what we already know. Uh, to to really understand what is going on, what is going on in so far as Israel is concerned. Why is it getting so, so difficult for them to arise? But it's because of their, their intensity and the potency of their calling. But at the same time, it reflects back to us, the potency and uh, uh, the power of our calling as individual believer and mm -hmm. as a corporate body. That's why, you know, the bride cries, come, Lord Jesus, come. Because when he comes, I mean, we have no idea how, how when his, his, his presence comes in the midst of us, what that is really. You know, during the conference, we had experienced a little bit, a little trickle of that presence. And uh, how much more when his presence really just, wow, wow. I mean, I can just say, wow, wow. I have no words for that. Anyways, so, yes. Um, are we, uh, is it okay if we still invite people to jump in? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. never, they're never too late. I yeah. mean, you know, maybe they're going to be at the tail end, but hey, it's better than right. Uh, right. late than never, you know, get, uh, get into the, yeah, yeah, jump in, jump in as much, as fast as you can. And uh, yeah, I still continue to invite people because there's so much here. Um, not only for the purpose of Israel, really, but also for our individual purpose. I don't know about you, but every every time we guys we meet for prayer, it transforms me. It changes me. It changes my paradigm. Changes my attitude. Changes my seeing. It deepens and gives clarity to what I see, uh, what I don't see, and what I need to read between the lines. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, amen. So let's take a look at the prayer point for to, tonight. Jeremy, bring us there. It, we're, we're really looking at day seven. And we're praying that uh, as we understand fuller and deeper uh, why we're praying for Israel, then we begin to 
posture ourselves in a in 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 in, in such a place of tenderness. I mean, our praying becomes targeted. Our praying becomes focused. Our praying becomes not just a route, but you know, intent and purposeful. And so, um, uh, the prayer for today, prayer day seven, is from Isaiah thirty-three two to six and verse seventeen. And so, what are we praying for Israel today? That He will impart wisdom and reveal His beauty. This is our prayer focus that Israel will 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 have the wisdom of God as in the prayer of Paul in Isaiah 1 17 father open the eyes of the understanding they, they may see the hope of their calling and so we will be praying uh verse 2 says oh lord be gracious to us and this is the uh, the the prayer of uh, a jew a prayer of this of israel be gracious to us and we say oh lord be gracious to israel we have waited for you they are waiting for you israel is waiting for you they may not reflect it they may not uh, uh we may not visibly see it but they are in their heart because of the covenant of God for them and, and, and through them, they are waiting for God. They just don't know. Be their arm every morning. Our uh, our salvation in the time of trouble. When you lift yourself, lift yourself up, the nations shall be scattered. The Lord is exalted for he dwells on high. He has filled Zion with justice. Yes, Bambi. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of your times. This is what God is saying to Israel. And the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's for Israel, so to speak. The fear of the Lord over Israel over Jerusalem, over its people. And verse 10, now I will rise, says the Lord. Now God is going to rise, even in spite of the volley of rockets that are being released over you. God arises over you, uh, Israel. So verse 17, your eyes will see the king in his beauty. It is it is a beautiful thing. It is one of the things that to, we're going to be seeing in the end times, in the last days, is that we will begin to see the beauty of God. And uh, in many cases, we are not aware of the beauty of God. I know sometimes we sing about it, but we need to really see and we need to be understanding the beauty of God, the beauty of his holiness, the beauty of the fear of who he is, the beauty of his majesty and the excellency of who he is. And this is what we will begin to see even through Jerusalem, even through this prayer in the last next uh, few, few more days. And so let us begin to pray for Jerusalem. Lord God, I pray that you will impart wisdom and reveal your beauty to Israel. That they may see how beautiful you are, oh God. The splendor of your glory, the power of your presence, the beauty of your promises, your kindness, your goodness, your mercies that endures forever. Show us your beauty, O oh God, and impart to us the wisdom, wisdom to comprehend, wisdom to understand, Wisdom to see the depths, O oh, Israel. We release this wisdom over you. The spirit of revelation, the spirit of wisdom to open the eyes of your understanding that you may see the hope of your calling, that you are truly called to be a vessel, to be a carrier, to be a priest, to carry and dispense of the glory and the presence of a holy God. Mm. Father, release that over Israel, over his people, even right now, as things are happening in their nation, that God will arise. God will say, arise over Israel even now. And now we, you've been arising over them. Mm. And we pray it even more. Mm. 
that Israel will see with our eyes the king in his beauty. The wisdom and knowledge will be exalted and will dwell on high. And he has filled Zion with justice. There will be justice for you, Zion. There shall be justice for you, Israel. Justice is on its wings coming over you. God's going to lift himself up over you, Israel. And we pray for you. And we want you to be surrounded with favors with a shield. And we pray that the holy God will come upon you and you will see the beauty of his and, and the splendor of his presence. God, we thank you that your eyes is upon Israel, that he is the, the, she is the apple of your eyes, and that you're intent on her, even much more uh, intent for us who's praying, for the congregate, aggregate people of like uh, now going 10 million plus that are praying for Israel. We are, you are more intent, you are more focused, you're more relentless in saying the salvation of Israel. And Lord God, this is our confidence and this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So go ahead, go ahead, everybody, just jump in. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I just want to thank you for this awesome and high calling that you have drafted us into making us part of this uh, millions of intercessors, 21 day prayer fast for Israel, Lord God. Lord, uh, we, we can hardly grasp the magnitude of what you have called us to do. <clears throat> and uh, the first thing we do ask is that we give us your, you give us your heart for Israel. Lord, yes. God. Lord, we say we love because you first loved us. We want to love Israel because you first loved Israel. Amen. Teach us how Amen. to love your firstborn. Mm -hmm. how to feel their pain, how to rejoice yeah. as they rejoice, how to face the challenges they face. Yes. Lord, make them make us feel for them as we would a member of our family. Yes. So Amen. We, can, we can't manufacture that. It has no. to come in you. Oh Lord God, teach us. Teach us how. Oh, put your heart in us. Oh, fill us with that Holy Spirit, oh God, that will be able to understand that vine to which we are grafted in, that yes. olive tree to which we are grafted in. And Amen. if we are grafted in, Lord God, then the life of that tree, of that vine is coursing mm -hmm. through us. Yes. And Lord, it's not we who support the root. It's the root, the that, root supports that supports us. the tree. Thank you, Lord, that the root yeah. is you, Yeshua. Yes. We need your love. We need your heart. We need to understand why you would even go down to Israel, Lord God, and give your very life. Lord, suffer disgrace, humiliation, pain, rejection, everything, Lord. First, for the Jew, then for the Gentile. Mm -hmm. So, Lord God, here we are. Empower us, teach us, enable us, Lord God. Um, mm -hmm. And we declare your wonderful plan for Israel. Yes, amen. Thus says the Lord of hosts, people shall yet come, inhabitants of many cities, mm -hmm. the inhabitant of one city shall go to another saying, let us continue to go and pray before mm. the Lord and seek the Lord of hosts. I myself will go also. Yes, many peoples and strong okay. nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. 
Oh, what a wonderful time this yes, is. And this is your promise, Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts in those days. Ten men from every language yeah. of the nations shall grasp the sleeve of a Jewish man, mm. saying, Let us go with you, for we have yes. heard that God is with amen, you. And amen. Amen. We grasp, Lord, is your oh, sleeve. Ba, 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 yes, your yes, sleeve, Yeshua. We will go with you, so oh my God. And you shall lead us on to fulfill so Lord, what you have called us to do yes. in this crucial time for Israel. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord, in Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for this call that you have placed in our hearts to come together and be part of these millions of intercessors praying for Israel. Father, thank you for making us enter into your plan. Yeah. Allowing us to walk together to enter into your great plan for your people, Israel. Father, thank you so much for making our hearts see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even more of how we should be able to pray for Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who's guiding us every single evening, every single night that we have showing us, yes. redirecting us to see your heart, to see your heart for your people, and yes. to see your heart for each one of us. Amen. Father, thank you that we're not just here because we want to contribute one person into a million intercessors, but we're here because you have called us to stand yes. together. Yes. And that, that standing oh, together, okay. that unity of, of being together so will 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 move and will develop a, a mile of strength and protection and, and 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 strength not only for Israel but for all of us. And Father, thank you. Every single heart's contribution here in believing you for your plan for Israel means a lot, Father. Thank you, we may not we, we all not play all together at one time, but in our hearts, as we say, yes, every single prayer yes, said, go a distance. Father, thank you, Father. Thank you for protecting Israel. Thank you, Lord, for, for covering your people with your precious blood. Lord, it's your plan. It's sure. your plan that will be in this time at this moment, Father. And Lord, we are here believing you that you're in control of all of this. You are in control. That your hand is embracing all of this. And that you, you're you, 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 because of what's going on. You are still in control. You are the mighty God. And we honor you and we worship you. We join the angels, the host of God angels, it, 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 in saying, holy, 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 holy you God. are the Lord God because you are in control, Amen. Father. Thank you, each one of us, God. Thank you for making us, giving us the, the time to come together. Thank you, Father. We are so grateful. And Father, thank you for sustaining us. You have sustained us for the seventh day. And we will continue, Lord. And uh, looking forward for the so many things that you will reveal to us, not because we want yeah. to get revelations, but we want because we want your plan be established in our heart. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Father, for this time. And thank you for the privilege of praying together. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the special call on each one here, Lord God. Mm. Lord, nobody's here by accident. You call yes. us, oh Lord God. God. And Lord, everyone already has something to contribute. You gave to each a talent, Lord. Mm. Yeah. At least one. Some have more. But Lord, uh, 
well, all that you require is that we be faithful with what we're yes. given. Yes, yes. Sure. Just that one little talent, cool. Lord, okay. or or so much faith and power for more of cool. that, or cool. that cool. it all comes from you, and it cool. all comes cool. from our faithfulness to what you have sure. called us. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Lord God, make us faithful through twenty-one days. Yes. Make us faithful to finish this race, Lord. God. Yes, Lord God. Lord, uh, give us, Lord, your your prayer targets for every day, oh yes. Lord. Put it in our hearts, write it in mm -hmm. our hearts. Make us yes. persevering, oh Lord. Give us the faith that whatever yeah. we utter, Lord, you hear and you act. Amen. Upon, Amen. Oh Lord. And Lord, uh, we we also thank you, Lord God for the call upon our nation. I was late tonight because we're preparing, we prepared some things for tomorrow. Uh, the 75th birthday of Israel of the Gregorian mm. calendar, Lord God. Mm. Lord, you have a call yes. on our nation, Lord. Yes. We were the only Asian nation that voted, oh God, to make Israel a nation in 1947. Mm. Whether that was by coercion or whatever it was, it was your will. You chose us, oh God. Amen. Lord, uh, you made us, Lord, the only nation in the world mm. uh, to shelter Jewish refugees from 1938 to 1942. No Amen. one would take them. Only us, Lord. We, we were the only nation that opened the doors and we were going to take in 10,000 if the Japanese mm. war did not intervene. We took in 1,200, the only nation, Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord, that must be... Yeah, yeah must called us mean to something. Do this. Oh, yes. Lord God. Lord, we remember, Lord God, that when... Uh, the Spanish Inquisition was happening, Lord, and the Jews were escaping from uh, torture or death, Lord. Many Spanish galleons came to the Philippines and found mm. refuge here, Lord. And, and one of those uh, books um, from the Spanish Times even says, Lord God, that uh, I think his name was Don Federico Baldonado writing a letter to the King of Spain and saying, uh, we are here in this island called Luzon at that time. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, there are many Jews here. There are many Jews here. Uh, more than I have seen in other places. So Lord, we have been a refuge place for your people. Amen. When, Lord, even in the Spanish times, Oh, Lord God, during the Holocaust. And now, oh, Lord God, Filipinos in Israel. Lord, they're the biggest Christian presence there, Lord God. We are the ones who get into the homes. We can touch the elderly. Mm. We can teach the children. We can pray mm. where we are there, Lord God. Mm -hmm. You have made us an underground missionary force, oh, Lord God, that you will activate in your perfect Time. Thank you, Lord, for the calling you have given us. Lord God, teach us how to pray to, to fulfill this calling. Yes. Amen. Nation, Lord, to stand by her. Lord, Lord, Israel was the first nation, Lord God, to proclaim your name, Yeshua, as Lord and Savior. In mm -hmm. the Middle East, we were the first nation in the Far East, Lord Amen. God, to proclaim your name, Yeshua, as Lord and Savior. And not only that, we are the longest standing nation to proclaim mm -hmm. it, oh God, mm -hmm. and we are a missionary sending nation, mm -hmm. oh Lord God. We have a call, oh Lord God. Let us rise to it, oh God. And Lord, we declare, Lord, tomorrow, birthday of Israel, 75th uh -huh. anniversary. Lord, we, we, we thank you for the miracle of 75 years. Yes. Every year that Israel survives is a miracle, oh God. Lord, Amen. with all her enemies, Lord God. It's just amazing, oh, oh Lord God. And Lord, we bless her. We say she is not, as the UN says, a Nakba, a catastrophe, as our uh, DFA, Department of Foreign Affairs representative, uh, declared at the UN last 
November 30, which we, oh Lord, we, we repent for that. We declare we, the true body of Christ in the Philippines, yes. Lord, the true government in the Philippines, we declare Israel Amen. Is a tremendous blessing. Oh God, Amen. we declare Israel is a kingdom of priests. A holy mm. nation, it will become so in your time. A light, your light and glory to the Gentiles, mm. O oh Lord, a Amen. blessing in the midst of the earth. That is Israel to Filipinos. That Amen. is Israel to the Filipino nation. We proclaim it today in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 And um, we declare that the plan of God be established and even more in the next year. In the 76th year, no amount of whatever negative, whatever proclamation the world would over Israel, we, we nullify that in Jesus' name. And we, we, we render those proclamations useless and ineffective in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because we declare that Israel is a blessing in the name of Jesus. So Father, thank you and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 We, Amen. Have the lang po na we just uh, sent letters to the Department of Foreign Affairs, Lord God, protesting the Nakba vote. Oh Lord, let them read it and let them take it very seriously, oh God. We sent Amen. letters to the President, the Vice President, Amen. protesting the Nakba vote. Lord, let them open those letters and read it personally. Lalo yes. na si Sarah Duterte, she's a Jew, oh Lord God. Let them read, let them act, Lord God. Let them revamp the Department of Foreign Affairs if necessary, oh mm. Lord God. But we pray that this is the last negative vote we will make against Israel, oh Lord God. And, yeah. and we pray, Lord God, for Brother Eddie's move uh last February, Lord God, in response to the Nakba vote to declare a Philippine-Israel Friendship Day. Lord, Amen. it already passed, Lord, the committee mm. level. And Lord, we're declaring here, we're Amen. praying here, it will pass the plenary level. Yes, Amen. Amen. There will be a Philippine-Israel Friendship Day. Oh, Amen. Lord God. Lord, let us rise. Let us rise, Lord, as a lover of Israel. Lord, let us fulfill our call, our destiny. Amen. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' amen. name. Amen. 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 Sister Belinda. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hallelujah. 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 Heaven, the Father, uh, the Rock and Redeemer of Israel, we pray that you will bless the state of Israel. We pray that you will guard it in your abundant kindness. Spread over it the shelter of your protection. We pray for the reality of your covenants. Hallelujah. To be made known with clarity and understanding in the hearts of your people, Israel. We pray for those in authority and leadership in the government and those who guard Israel that they may see your purposes. Send forth your light and truth to its leaders and ministers and also to your people, Israel. Grace them with your good counsel. We pray that the present crisis or trouble that they are experiencing now be settled peacefully. Remove every influence or influence of confusion and division in the branches mm -hmm. of their government. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, but Amen. then, O oh Lord of hosts, if this present situation is in alignment with your plan to quicken your purposes for them, we pray, let your kingdom come, let yes. your will be done on them as it is already been established in heaven. Amen. Let your righteousness and will be settled in their yes. hearts, mm -hmm. especially, Lord God, your covenant plan and purposes, mm -hmm. Lord God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, O oh Lord, of, yes. uh, Lord God of Israel, we pray, let your kingdom cover the earth even as the waters cover the seas. May, mm -hmm. the, uh, may the name of the Holy One of Israel, Yeshua HaMashiach, be a banner, a kupa, and a comfort to all pe people, especially mm -hmm. your people Israel. 
who call upon the name, uh, who call upon your name in holiness. We thank you and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Allow me to read Second Chronicles 6, verse 5 to 6. Since the day I brought my people out of Egypt, I have not chosen a city in any tribe of Israel to have a temple built so that my name might be there, nor have I chosen anyone to be ruler over my people Israel. But now I have chosen Jerusalem for my name to be there, and have and I have chosen David to rule my people Israel. And in Deuteronomy 7, verse 6, for you, Israel, are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Amen. Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the mm -hmm. face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. God Almighty, holy and God eternal, you made a choice among all the people you created and set them apart to execute the important purposes of your providence, not on the account of Israel's yeah. extraordinary merits, mm -hmm. but because through them, you demonstrated your love, your holiness, mm -hmm. and your glory to the world. And through Abraham's descendants comes the Messiah, the one mm -hmm. who, through whom all the families of the earth would be blessed. So Lord, we pray for Israel the land whom you call your inheritance and the people whom you call your chosen one. Mm -hmm. May your will for Israel to be a kingdom of priests and, an, and a holy nation, according to Exodus 19 verse 6, be done. We pray that they will be able to fulfill the irre irrevocable calling that you have given to mm -hmm. them. Amen. To be a servant to you and to be a channel of blessings to other nations. But yeah. Lord, this won't be fulfilled if they will continue to reject the Messiah, the Lord Yeshua. So Lord, we cry out to you that they will find Yeshua as their Messiah King, Lord and Savior. And Father, we know that nothing can bring peace on earth except the return of the Lord Yeshua to Amen. take up his position and reign as King of mm. Kings, Lord Amen. of Lords, Prince of Peace of Israel mm -hmm. and Savior of the world. And let mm -hmm. people say, Baruch Haba B'Shem Adonai. Blessed mm -hmm. is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Let it be done, Lord, to have a temple built on your land so that mm -hmm. your name might be there and your kingdom be established on earth. Mm -hmm. In Yeshua's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Lord God of our fathers, Amen. are you not the God in heaven? Do you not rule over the kingdoms of the nations? Power and might are in your hands, and there is no one able to stand against you. O Lord of lords, God of gods, King of kings, the God of the ages, the throne of thy glory stand unto all generation of the age. Yes. In thy name, holy and glorious, blessed unto all the ages. You have made all things and power over all things as thou. And all things are naked and open thy sight. And you see all things and nothing can hide themselves from you. You know all things before they come to pass. And you see these things. And you suffer them. And you just Say to us what we are to do in regards to this. O oh Lord, blessed be, O oh Lord our God, in greatness. Lord of the whole King of Kings, the God of the whole world. Lord, you know that you have already removed the dragon and his holy his angels, his rebellious angels from heaven. And they have now come down and they are now attacking the woman with 12 stars and they're influencing all of the nations all throughout the earth mm -hmm. and they're trying to manipulate the minds of the people so that mm -hmm. they will go against each and every Israelites to remove them 
especially the ones who obey your mm-hmm. command and love your Lord. Mm-hmm. Lord. One Almighty One, of Israel. may you, in your loving kindness, remember your promises that you made to our forefathers. You are the God of Abraham. Yeah, God of God. God. And the God of Jacob, remember your people. And remember your words that you've spoken to your prophets. And may you fulfill them in the last days and establish Jerusalem. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, I pray for the 70 nations, the Sanhedrins, the Temple Institute, those people who are in trying to obey are fulfilled the words of your holy scriptures to once more establish the house of prayer for all nations, O Lord God, wherein dun yu po hulihin ang dragon, dun yu po ipapanish ang tatayong antichrist, dun yu po i-establish at mawawala ang, ang, ang false prophet, O Lord God. That's where you're going to punish the works of darkness, I pray let your process come so that your kingdom will be established on earth. Na ma-remove na ang evil na to, Lord God, from the earth so that you will reign for more than a thousand years to reintroduce the God, I mean, the laws of our God, the Father in heaven through the nations. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This I pray in the name of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, Or HaOlam, the light of the world, Hukvod Israel, the glory of Israel, Ariyahun and the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God, Maria. Sephora, did you want to pray? Okay. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we ask and pray that you continuously work, Lord God, in Jerusalem, Lord God, in Israel, Lord God. Um, help them, Lord God. Help uh, uh, the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, Lord God, to make a right decision, Lord God, to what's happening there. And uh, we ask and pray, Father God, that you continuously protect them to what's happening there in the name of Jesus Christ of mm-hmm. Nazareth. We ask and pray, Father God, that um, lahat po ng mga tao ngayon, Panginoon ko, Lord God, doon po sa uh, kung saan ay na-damage yung mga uh, lugar dahil po sa rocket na nakarating doon. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, i-comfort nyo rin po yung mga uh, na-damage ang sitwasyon nila, yung mga tao na nahihirapan. Panginoon, help them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, Lord God, na mahinto na po, Panginoon, ang ginagawa, Panginoon, ng kaaway ng Israel in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, Lord God, wala naman ibang makagagawa nito. Nothing is impossible with you, Lord God. Mm-hmm. Lord, we ask and pray, Father God, that Maghimala kayo, Panginoon, sa sitwasyon yes. nito. Amen. Maghimala po kayo. Proteksyonan niyo po, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga hudyo, Panginoon. We ask and pray that you also, Lord God, um, use the Messianic Jew, Lord God, to be a blessing, Lord God, and share the gospel, Panginoon, Lord God, sa mga unbeliever pa po na naroon, Panginoon. At uh, Itong time na ito, Panginoon, we know that this is the right time, Panginoon, that uh, Yeshua, Panginoon, will be exalted, Lord God. Alam namin, Panginoon, ito po yung 
time, Panginoon, na kung saan, Panginoon, makikita nila, Panginoon, ang inyong himala dahil makikita nila, Panginoon, ang inyong apong ilaw, Panginoon, your light sa mga mananampalataya po ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo. At kayo po, Panginoon, ang magbigay, Panginoon, ng wisdom, knowledge, how to share the gospel, Panginoon, sa kanila, that they will accept Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior, Amen. Panginoon. Amen. Doon pa po sa mga hindi nakakakilala doon. At ganun din po, Panginoon, sa Gaza, Panginoon, sa West Bank, Lord God, doon po sa lahat ng mga um, borders na kung saan, Panginoon, ay talaga namang... Uh, ang hirap ng kalagayan, Panginoon. Proteksyonan niyo po ang lahat ng IDF, Panginoon, Lord God. Yes. Be upon them and be with them, Lord God. Give mm. them strength, Panginoon. Give them wisdom and knowledge how to handle situations, Lord God, and how to fight, Panginoon, Lord God, doon sa ganong sitwasyon, Panginoon. At lahat po ng mga uh, plano pa po at gagawin, Panginoon, ng kaway ng Israel, Panginoon, naniniwala kami, Panginoon, na hindi sila magtatagumpay. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, if it's your will, Panginoon, alam namin, itong lahat ng nagaganap na ito, Lord God, yung plano mo ang mananalo. We believe that our God is a victorious God. And Lord, we claim your victory upon Israel. And Amen. we claim your peace upon Jerusalem, O God. Amen. Lord, yan po ang aming pinaniniwalaan, Panginoon, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And lahat din po ng mga uh, Lord God, gusto pa pong bumalik sa Israel, lalong-lalo na yung gustong magpa-enlist us para sa IDF, Panginoon, dalangin namin, tulungan niyo po sila. Kayo po ang um, magbigay ng approval, Panginoon, kasi mga iba ay hindi na-approve but they want really, O oh God, to uh, enlist, O oh God. Um, dalangin namin, Panginoon, na kung sila totoo, Panginoon, matanggap sila. At yung mga nagkukunwaring mga Israelita, Lord God, ay expose nyo po agad in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. At yung mga gusto naman pong bumalik, Panginoon, protect them, Lord God. Lahat ng gusto po, Panginoong uh, magbalik, Panginoon, kayo po ang mag-convict, O God. Doon naman sa mga nagtatagong Israelita, Lord, mga Hudyo, Panginoon, dalangin namin, ito na po, Panginoon, yung uh, open the minds, O Lord God. Open, Lord God, and touch the heart, O God, that they will go back mm -hmm. to their country, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Para mas marami pa po, Panginoon, sila, Panginoon, mm -hmm. mas lumakas po, Panginoon, ang bansang Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, Father God, we thank you so much. We believe, Lord God, kayo po ang tunay, Panginoon, kung inaasahan namin at wala na pong iba para makakilog sa bansang Israel. Thank you so much, Father God, for everything that you are doing. At salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat po ng nananalangin, Panginoon, sa Israel, Lord God. Salamat. Palakasin niyo rin po ang mga nagpa-fasting, O oh God. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, Lord God, na alam niyo po yung Uh, pinagdaraanan din po ng bawat isa sa fasting and prayer na ito. Dalangin namin, tulungan niyo po kaming lahat. And truly, Father, we thank you so much sa lahat-lahat ng ginagawa ninyo. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We agree with all of those prayers. Um, day seven, uh, the, this is a prayer of um, from the point of view of uh, a Jew, a Messianic Jew. And um, Isaiah 62, verse 5. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall our God rejoice over you. This is being, we decree this and we declare this and proclaim this over Israel. How resplendent the day when you rejoice over Israel as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. Your heart beats expectantly and fervently for that long-awaited union. Even now, Yeshua, you cherish and graciously groom as your bride, the messianic remnant of Israel who follows you wherever you go. Thank you, my coming bridegroom king. Change my heart, I pray, so that I see every brother and sister in Messiah as your uh, treasured bride, 
for whom you are jealous. Reveal to me my resentment. I may harbor over my any offenses, real or imagined. I have sustained by any of them. I now release that resentment to you. I forgive them even as you have forgiven me. Secure me and all your Israeli messianic bride in your wrap around love as a shield against offense. Teach me by your spirit to prefer my brothers and sisters over myself and to seek their good above my own. For in loving them as you love them, I express my love for you. Yeshua, teach us as your bride in Israel to live in the harmony and unity for which you yourself prayed. Let there be genuine, love-driven reconciliation wherever it is needed among us, between Jews and Arab believers, between different theological camps, between immigrants and sabras, between the generations and more. In Yeshua's name, may do from heaven refresh our minds and hearts to different theological truths you reveal to different ones of, of your bride. My, may ancient rifts be resolved in your bride between the physical and spiritual descendants of Isaac and Ishmael, Jacob and Esau. May we learn to cherish the young and old among us, nurturing and esteeming them as you do. May this born in those born in the land welcome Messianic Jews making Aliyah. May Messianic immigrants honor those of your bride born in Zion. Shepherd of Israel, please raise up Messianic leaders in Israel to serve as shepherds after your own heart. Empower them to seek and to save the lost. Teach them how to groom your bride as you groom her. Protect them and provide for their needs. Be with them and mature them through the inevitable difficulties of ministry leadership. Take them personally into your bridal chamber and lovingly encourage them. Equip them to help your bride make herself ready for you. Thank you for hearing and accepting my supplications before your throne of grace. In Yeshua's name, amen. 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 Anybody else ready to pray? Otherwise, we will uh, get ready for communion. Communion. Yeah. I don't know if anyone has prayed over the war already. I came in too late. The war in Israel. The? The fighting. In, in oh, yeah. I, we did. Yeah, I did. We did. Oh, okay. Okay. It's yeah, but you, you, you're welcome to do it again. From your, well, um, uh, since we, we are so many praying uh, at this critical time, there are really some great answered prayers. Um, Amen. Uh, one is that uh, the top leadership, the entire top first level and second level leadership of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad is totally decimated. They're headless. Oh, wow. They're fighting headless right now. Mm -hmm. um, six, six has been killed. Yes, yeah, six of them. The six top. top leaders. And and Netanyahu's ratings have gone up again. Uh, yeah. Because he was very wily. God gave him wisdom. Uh, yeah. But people thought that he was delaying and his uh, ratings are plummeting. But what he was really doing is he was... Uh, devising a game. He, mm -hmm. he actually offered ceasefire. Did, did you talk about this already? No, no, I didn't, no. Oh, yeah, well, he offered ceasefire uh, talks in Egypt. And what happened is that the long-wanted top uh, uh, terrorist leaders who have been in hiding uh, for a long time uh, they, they heard this, and so they said goodbye to their families and got out of their hiding places in order to join the ceasefire. And the minute they did that, Israel hit them right away. 
uh, wow. in 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 three simultaneous attacks in three different places. The three top three were were killed, and then another two, and then the next level were all killed. And and Lord, that that's amazing. That's amazing wisdom wow. that you gave. Oh Lord God and Lord. Uh, Nobody wants to join the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Diba we prayed, confused yes, uh-huh. them, stop yeah. them. Well, yes. the Hamas doesn't want to jump in. The Hezbollah doesn't want to jump in. The ISIS, they don't want to jump in because of what they saw happen to the leadership of Palestinian wow. Islamic Jihad. So thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Uh, it, this is you, Lord God. Oh and, yes, Amen, and, Amen. And, and because they they uh, uh, so many missiles were being fired, they got a chance to test their new weapons, uh, the David sling and the iron beam, the laser, uh, and they worked. They were proven to work. They downed Amen. missiles. So, so instead of, you know, testing this somewhere, whatever, right in the action, it was tested <laughs> and found that these weapons were good. Ooh, the laser oh, beam, man. especially, uh, it cost 150000 yeah. per missile of the Iron Dome. Iron That's Dome. how much it is, $150,000. Right. The David Sling cost $1 million to fire one rocket. But... Ooh. And these are long-range uh, missile interceptors. But the new one, the laser beam or the iron beam, puts a laser defense, a dome all over Israel. And it doesn't need rockets. It's free. And it can stop missiles in all directions, even oh, if they fire God. them simultaneously. 250,000 missiles. Oh. So praise the Lord. This is this is amazing oh, miracle. Amen. Once, amen. Once again, you did this, oh, Lord God. Lord, yes, Lord. Lord. That's your prayer. Lord, God's Lord, wisdom. Just, thank you, Lord. Yes, I just want to intercede, Lord God. Yes. For that thank family, you. there's only one Israeli killed, Lord, yes. but she's 83 years old and couldn't run fast enough to the bomb shelter. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord, comfort her family. Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord God. You know, Lord, 800 missiles fired and not a single Israeli killed except this lady. That's another miracle of yours. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we also intercede. We also intercede, Lord, for for the 2 million Israelis, one-third of the population, 3 million, but 2 million in the bomb shelters, Lord. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lord, get them to be supplied with water and yeah, food. Yeah, food, and yes, Lord God. It's kind yeah. of running long already and they're running out, Lord God. But Lord, have you ever have your people ever been lacking, Lord God? Yeah. You gave them, Lord, water from the rock in the desert. Yeah. You gave them mana, mana in the desert. Lord, Boil. Lord, feed every single family in the yes. bus. Amen. 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 Salamat po, salamat po. Salamat po. Hundreds, Papa. hundreds of the missile fired at uh, Israel landed in Gaza. Yeah, yeah. and tuloy, Palestinian ang natamaan. Sila tinamaan. Yes, mm. and, and Lord, uh, the, this... Palestinians, Lord, they really don't care for life, Lord. They put their rocket launchers in hospitals, hospitals in orphanages, yeah. in crowded streets. They're using their own people as human shields so that when Israel fires, uh, uh, CNN and Al Jazeera will report these terrible, cruel Israelis they're firing at civilians. Panginoon, uh, Lord, would you send your warrior angels to clear all the places yes, around amen. artillery uh, depots, Lord God, in every hideout of the terrorists? Lord, uh, the, let your Expose warrior them. angels, Lord, uh, 
get the people out of there, warn them, oh Lord mm-hmm. God, and expose, mm-hmm. yes, expose, Lord God, so that walang masasaktan. And Lord, we yes. also pray for the Palestinians, Panginoon, sawang-sawa na sila sa gera, Panginoon. Gusto na nilang, Lord, to have peaceful lives naman, Lord God, to, to have their kids go all the way to college, oh Lord, to have stable jobs that pay well, but they are so controlled. Uh, by the Hamas, by the Islamic Jihad, by mm. Iran, Panginoon. Lord, there are many mm. of them that are really Jews by blood. Set them free, Lord God. You are the great liberator. Yes. Amen, amen. Oh, Lord yes. God. Yes. Let them, uh, speak to them in dreams and visions, oh Lord God. Yes, Lord. And those who already know they are of Jewish blood. Oh Lord God, let put that witness in their hearts, O Lord, that they belong to Israel. They belong to the Jewish people. O Lord God, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on these Palestinians who are the biggest victims of this war and and are just being uh, manipulated, Mm -hmm. controlled, exploited by their terrorist Mm -hmm. masters. Mm -hmm. Let them realize this, Lord, and let them reject once and for all their idolatrous religion. Yes, amen. Amen. It's terrible. It it keeps them in poverty and war. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord God, let them cry out to you, whether they know yes. your name or not. For if they cry out sincerely, you will hear, oh, Lord God. Yes. Amen. You said that, Lord. If you cry out to me with all your heart, soul, and mind, I will hear you. I will act in your behalf. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Claim a harvest from oh, this. Yeah. Lord in God, Jesus we thank you. For all of this victory, Mm -hmm. Lord God, we thank you that the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And Lord, where one uh, shall take a thousand to fly, two will take ten thousand. And we thank you that what the devil meant for evil, God, you're able to turn around for good. And we Mm -hmm. celebrate your goodness. We celebrate, Lord God, your victories. We celebrate your miracles, Lord God, your provision, your resources. You are such a God. And we see the beauty of your goodness. We see the beauty of your mercy. We see the beauty of your faithfulness Mm -hmm. and in your promises, Lord God. Thank you for giving Mm -hmm. wisdom to uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel. Thank you for giving all of them the wisdom continually, Lord God, Mm. revelation, understanding Mm. on how Mm. to to do things, Lord God, with with Mm. righteousness, but at the same time with with purpose and, Lord God, with with accuracy. Thank you, Lord, for for tonight. Thank you for all of us. Now let's get ready for communion Um, and offer uh, our communion tonight. Yes? Linda, may I share something? I think what we're doing right now I don't know if others have felt this, if they've gotten attacks, but the devil really hates what we're doing. Yeah. Praying and fasting for Israel. And he can use stuff to really just attack us. All right. I, I, I'm not sure. Well, I think you have been attacked yeah. in a way yeah. in your health, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. But yeah. he, can, he can use, you know, it's not, flesh and blood we contend with yes. on powers and principalities in the high yes. places and sometimes he can use close family members because this has been like every day 6 a.m that I wake up and it's just getting an attack okay like what are you doing We're always there you should really be cooking cleaning etc and praise god i just pray that I will have the grace to do what I should do, which is right, you know, uh, that it is true. Uh, but please pray, you know, uh, for our family members that God will really just infuse them so much with his love, you know. And it's hard to love Israel when you have to really love God first, Jesus. Yeah. you know exactly. so let's just keep that in mind you know and then yeah mm-hmm. for me i i can easily just fight back with my tongue don't, you know don't go there it's really hard you know so just please pray for grace special grace you know 
um, at this time, because this is a long thing. It's still the May, it's still May 20, um, 28th. You oh, know? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, almost, we're almost there. We're seven, seven days. Right, right, because it's, it's a daily day. thing, and you can get attacked for it. Like, what are you doing? Oh, always yeah. there, you know? Oh, yeah. Wait. Thank you, Lord. Uh, yeah. Let, let's pray, let's pray uh, for, for that <laughs> over Bambi. Father, That's we right. thank you that, that the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. Amen. But they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Mm-hmm. And Father God, right. we, we, we recognize that uh, we wrestle not mm-hmm. with uh, flesh and blood, but with principalities, with powers and rulers of darkness in heavenly places. And we know this. And Lord God, we thank you that you brace us for such a time as this, that we are contending most specifically for Israel, for your purpose uh, towards her and for your plans towards her. And Lord God, in the meantime, Mm -hmm. the enemy is trying to attack us in Mm -hmm. our physical bodies, Mm -hmm. in our relationship, Mm -hmm. in our homes, uh, in our uh, by my, our own families, by our own relatives, Lord God, or whatever it may be coming from, Lord God, we we restrain, we release a restraining order over all mm-hmm. of these side effects and boomerangs mm-hmm. that the enemy is doing Amen. against Amen. us and over yes, us. Lord. And we we mm-hmm. we say to you, you are rebuked, you are mm-hmm. commanded to resist and desist in the name of Jesus. You have no right over us Amen. and we allow Amen. the finished work of Jesus Christ to cover all of us in this platform, all that are praying in here in this in this online platform and outside yes. the, the many millions of people that are praying, Lord God, we plead the blood oh, of Jesus over all of us Amen. to cover us, to protect us, Lord God. And, yes. and we pray that you will give us wisdom to discern what's going on, to be ready to, for to for this retaliation right. against us. And Lord mm-hmm. God, we thank you that uh, yes, that uh, you will give us understanding. And you will also allow us to posture our hearts that in yes. spite of maybe even uh, family mm-hmm. members or close uh, a close member relationship that will attack us or become you be, be used by the enemy to come against us and uh, and to weaken and to uh, uh, to mm-hmm. distract us, Lord God. We we just pray that 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 our posture will continue to be looking to you. Jesus, the author and yes. the finisher of our faith, that Lord God, yes. we will not go there. We will respond in love. We will respond in patience. We yes. will respond, Lord God, in courage. Mm-hmm. We will respond mm-hmm. in understanding because yes. the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, they're mighty. And God, you direct us always. Your yes. unction is upon us. We 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 know that you're pouring out your spirit on us. And that, Lord God, we are covered. We are protected. That the prayer of a righteous man availeth much, Lord God. Yes. We're not alone. You are with us. This is your appointment for us. And therefore you are duty bound. And you duty bound yourself to protect yes. us and to carry Mm -hmm. us and to hold us into your arms, Father. We thank you and we bless you. And Lord God, those Mm -hmm. that are having physical uh, difficulties, Lord God, we release healing, we release covering, we release the the healing of the blood of Jesus. And to those that are having whatever uh, difficulties may be happening amongst us, Lord God, we just release the grace of God, grace upon grace, multiplied grace and peace be upon you in Jesus' name. And we release the, the grace of God to surround you as with a shield in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you. Amen. That's right. Oh, Amen. Let's go to worship, Jeremy. Yeah. Pastor Linda. Okay. Yes. Yeah. One more. Um. Uh, I just I'll just bring this. Um. Uh. I believe in our hearts that um the job mm-hmm. that I have that yeah. um this project has been given to us. That was That's I right. got I got a. I got an information yesterday that the person that's going to sign for the notice to proceed left for Europe and they will be coming back on the 22nd. And so in my heart, which is, it's just delaying and delaying and delaying. And, you know, um, let's please help me pray that, you know, uh, this kind of system in our, uh, that it has to stop. I mean, you know, uh, well, and that be released. Sometimes it happens, mm-hmm. just like you know what we heard uh, David Slyker saying. It's it's refinement. 
Mm-hmm. If actually sometimes the waiting, uh, the delay is not a delay to frustrate mm-hmm. us or to frustrate the situation, but to bring refinement mm-hmm. and readiness. Mm-hmm. And but in the midst of that, Lord God, what we pray, Lord God, for Alan and for his situation is, Lord God, mm-hmm. that there be there be understanding of depth mm-hmm. of understanding as to why uh, the seeming delays are happening in the midst of them mm-hmm. and uh, for this job, Lord God. We know that you have given this as a miraculous gift for him, Lord mm-hmm. God, and we know that uh, the enemy is not happy about that. But Lord God, mm-hmm. you are rejoicing, and God, you are mm-hmm. still in charge. And we will release, Lord God, a a covering for for Alan. Mm, He will begin to comprehend. We'll begin Mm. to see uh, behind the scene what is going on and be able to posture himself, Lord God, into an an, an attitude of uh, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Give them the strength to be encouraged, Amen. to be encouraging Amen. for uh, their company and the, the, the project, Lord God, the head project uh, leadership in Jesus' name. Lord God, Amen. give them patience Amen. and give Amen. understanding. Amen. Can I also in add up to name. that, Linda? Yeah, that we should really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm praying from Psalm um, 27 that one thing have we asked of the Lord after hearing. The explanation of David's like where that that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our life yes. to gaze yeah. upon the beauty of the Lord yeah. and to inquire in his temple. And yes. that is really and out of sight, he says in Psalm 3, out of sight, the perfection of beauty comes. Mm. God shines mm. forth. It is in the in the person and, and then reading from second um second Corinthians 2. We are pressed in every side, but not crushed, mm-hmm. reflexed, yeah. not driven to despair, haunted yeah. down and persecuted, but not deserted. But because of his love, because we mm-hmm. have, we can see his beauty, because mm-hmm. out of sight, the perfection of beauty, God mm-hmm. shines forth. And we know, and we know that he will hide us in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal us under the cover of his tent, and he will lift up us high above a rock and as we're seeing as 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 nano was the, um making all the praise reports that's yeah. going on now i mean that's his beauty that's what we're seeing okay. we're not seeing yeah. what we're going through but we're seeing the beauty and we're excited because Amen. we know that he is yeah. going to display mm-hmm. in his beauty and said let yeah. light shine out of darkness yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let, let light let his light shine out of amen. darkness and amen. so we pray that for all of us lord god amen we shall amen. focus on who you are the yes. love that you have, the beauty yes. of the yes. splendor of your love for us. Yes. Amen. Father, we thank you. Even as we go through these challenges in our life, we thank you for you count us um, worthy of all these troubles that we're going through. We, you, you count us. You see us, Lord God, able to do this. You see us. Amen. You can, what you say, you can, um, you see us being responsible, that you can trust us with those troubles that you, we are Amen. going because you know that we are in your presence. You know that we will run to you and you know that we can handle this because we have you. And so, Father, show us our character before you, who we are in your midst. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you for the testing. Out of this testing comes a testimony of your love, Father. Thank you. Amen. 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 And uh, you remember, you know, we, we, I think in the, in the get go, in the beginning, I kind of warned us that, you know, this this comes with the territory. Yeah. This, yeah. You know, the minute the minute you're born again, you're at war, and we will mm-hmm. always be at war. And and That's... because we're standing for something that is gigantic and massive in its in its you know uh, purpose. I mean, this is God's thing, and so yes, we will be fought. Yes. Uh, but at least uh, the fight that we are experiencing, whether it's in our body, in our relationship, in our jobs, and whatever we may be expecting, is nothing compared to what is what what the Israelites are experiencing right now, the threat to their own lives, the threat to their own nation. And so, I mean, that's not to say that, you know... Uh, our what we're facing is 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 not important, but I'm just saying that let this is also the time for us to be braced up. This is the time for us to really be strong, and this is the time for us to just you know 
recognize that this is part of the territory, but God also promises, I will never leave you. Mm -hmm. I will not forsake you. I will be with you always. Amen. 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 And everyone, every one of us, as you stand in the gap, you know, you stand on behalf of who we're praying for. So you get hit. You get hit right. by it. But we already know. But our protection is in the Lord. This is all of these things, like I'm saying, is going to not just transform us, but conform us into the image of his dear son in whom we have. Amen. Uh, Amen. Deliverance. Amen. Amen. This is all going to redound to a beautiful individual that we are being raised to be. And as a beautiful mm -hmm. church and a beautiful Amen. bride of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Jeremy, take us. Let's get ready for communion. Amen. 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 Uh, as we get ready to come into the table of the Lord, let's just, uh, whatever may be bothering you, just forgive, repent, and just let us get all get right with God. Uh, on now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And so as we examine our hearts, we just allow God to just put eyes salve in our eyes, bring tenderness in our heart, <coughs> empower us to love our enemies and to those that are making life difficult for us. And allow us to just, Lord God, be postured. In the same perseverance to which you have carried the cross, took upon yourself the beatings on your back and on your body, wounding you, breaking your flesh, that the, the blood gushed out of it. And even as you hang on that cross, as they were nailing your hands and foot, the first thing you said and you spoke, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. And Lord God, we forgive those who are hurting us. We forgive those that are um, uh, oblivious of what's going on. We forgive them, Lord God, and we release your love for them. Even as we take this communion, we offer it, Lord God, for healing for preservation, for protection, for Israel, and for all of us uh, standing as watchmen on the wall this morning. And thank you, Lord God, that uh, to some of us, we've already, this is our second communion for the day. And Lord, mm -hmm. we thank you for the privilege. We thank you, Lord God, for uh, what it is doing to us individually, to our minds, to our hearts, to our soul, to our body, to our purposes, to our choices, and also how we relate this to others. In Jesus' name, let's take the bread. The bread that we just ate represents Jesus, his broken body, and it represents our healing. And it represents, and we release it, this healing over Israel, over those that are in the bunkers, healing for the nation, healing for those in leadership. And uh, we pray, Lord God, for more wisdom for all of us. And let us prophetically remember the words from Isaiah in, in Isaiah 53, verse 5. This is what we stand on. This is what we believe. This is what he, how healing comes to us and how restoration comes to us, deliverance and salvation. But he was wounded for our transgressions and he was crushed for our wickedness, our sin, our injustices, our wrongdoing. The punishment required for our well-being fell on him and by his stripes, by his wounds, we are healed. So Lord, we declare we are healed. Amen. We are better. Amen. We are come. 
We are yes. collected. Amen. We are stable, Lord God. Yes, Lord we put God. our trust in you. We set our eyes on you. Amen. In Jesus' name. And Amen. so, yeah, you're healed in Jesus' name. So let yes. us take the bread. And when he had taken a cup and given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new and better covenant, which ratifies the agreement and is being poured out for many as a substitutionary atonement for the forgiveness of sins. Let's take the cup. I just pause for a moment, understanding what the body and the blood of Jesus has done for us. He gave himself as a substitutionary atonement for all of our sins, for the sins of the world. And uh, remembering that this cup represents the blood of Jesus, our salvation. Jesus' blood changed everything for all of us. Erased even the past and the consequences and forever got us ready for his return. Thank you, Lord God, for the new covenant that by your blood we have been saved, we have been healed, we have been delivered, Amen. we have been glorified and sanctified. And so at this point, let's, you know, some of your some of your issues, relatives, friends that you need to pray for on top of Israel, just let's scoop them in and let them be, be covered by the blood of Jesus and let this communion take them also. Um, whatever we have received for this in this communion and what we have released to Israel and to all the people, let them benefit from the power of the cross and the broken body of Jesus and the shed blood on the cross. In Jesus' Amen. name, Father, we thank you. We thank you for continually covering us, Lord God, as we pray for Israel, as we stand, as we uh, walk faithfully, the courage and the strength that you give us. We thank you for one another, for each one of us in this platform, more specifically. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.